I hope you all are good and everything is going well. Welcome in Tech Knowledge Academy. Here we discuss different topics of chemistry and our today's topic is shielding mechanism, spin spin coupling interaction and chemical shift. So let us start today's discussion. First we discuss shielding mechanism of NMR spectroscopy. A structural factor causes change in magnetic field experienced by the nucleus is called shielding mechanism. The, uh, this causes change in resonance frequency and hence the chemical shift. The structural factor means that different type of proton will occur at different uh, protons. This is what makes NMR so useful for structural determination. Otherwise, all proton would occur at same frequency. Limiting the information is the presence of hydrogen or proton. The various factors that influence the field include these various factors that uh, influence the uh, sailing mechanism. First is inductive effect by electromagnetic groups. Second, magnetic and isotropy of the pi system, and third, hydrogen bonding. Next, we see uh, another topic which is spin spin coupling or spin spin interaction. The interaction between the spins of neighboring nuclei in a molecule may cause the splitting of NMR signal in the spectrum. This is known as spin spin coupling, which occurs through a slight unpairing of bonding electron. The spin of the near by nucleus are observing and the signal is not a simple signet, singlet but a multiplet. The complexity of multiplet depends upon the nature and number of nearby atoms. Consider a molecule of ethyl bromide CH3CH2Br. Uh, the spin of two proton CH2 can couple with the adjacent methyl group. In hence, different ways of alignment are seen so there is different way of alignment of spins uh, this is uh, reinforcing and there is no effect and this opposing effect thus a triplet of peaks result with the intensity ratio 1 ratio to ratio 1 which correspond to the distribution of ratio of alignment and there is given uh, the structure or peaks of uh, this one and uh, with different values and their unit is pass per million and we also use TMS trimethylsalinate as a reference next we see another topic which is chemical shift the chemical shift in this number of signals and position of signal play very important role in the NMR spectroscopy position of proton helps us to understand the nature of proton in the complex different type of proton are present in the compounds and they have different electronic environment due to the variation in electronic environment proton get absorbed at different applied magnetic field molecule is placed in external magnetic field electron will produce secondary magnetic field Segnet, uh, secondary magnetic field opposed and secondary magnetic field reinforced and there is given the scale, NMR scale or chemical shift scale uh, and different chemical shift uh, value from left to right these value called tau value and from uh, right to left these value called delta value uh, when uh, we calculate delta value delta value is equal to 10 minus tau, val uh, tau value and unit of these is parts per million and we uh, when we find tau value tau is equal to 10 minus delta value so both are opposite to each other and next we see uh, desealing and sealing when uh, molecule is uh, going in desealing then it is down field and have high frequency and high chemical shift value and when molecule is uh, going in uh, sealing then this is a field having low frequency and low chemical shift value. 
uh, after that we see different dif uh, different chemical shift values of different type of compounds for aliphatic or alicyclic we get delta value 0 to 2 parts per million and for beta substituted aliphatic compound uh, we get uh, value between 1 to 2 parts per, uh, per million and for alkyne uh, we get 2 to 3 parts per million uh, chemical shift value and for alpha mono substituted aliphatic compound we take uh, chemical shift value we get chemical shift value 2 to 5 parts per million and uh, next for alpha di substituted aliphatic compound we get chemical shift value between 2.5 to 7 parts per million and for alkenes we get uh, delta value 4.5 to 7.5 parts per million and for aromatic and heteroaromatic compound we get delta value 6 to 9 parts per million and for aldehydic we get delta value 9 to 10 parts per million so here our topic is completed for more update please like subscribe and share my channel